Grace here, Culinary Director for Sitka Salmon Shares, and today we're going to take a look at Wild Alaskan Pacific Cod, which is one of the best managed uh, fisheries in the world. Unlike Atlantic Cod, which is all but extinct, Pacific Cod is robust because it is so well managed. So before I even get started cooking cod, because it is a fish that holds a lot of moisture, I like to thaw it overnight between layers of paper towel. It's slow, but the moisture is absorbed into the paper towels and it doesn't pool as it would in the plastic bag. Because Pacific Cod does have a tendency to retain moisture, it makes it really tough to pan fry it without it sticking if you're not using a, a, a good non-stick skillet. So one of the things that I like to do, especially with Pacific Cod, but you know, with all seafood, is to give it a good salting. Once it's thawed, give it a really good salting on both sides and let it sit for about 10 to 30 minutes. The reason that it sticks, if you haven't salted it, is that when the moisture leaches out of the fish, it brings with it proteins and the proteins are what sticks to the pan. So pulling out some of the liquid is actually a really good te uh, technique. Another one, give it a light coating in all-purpose flour, rice flour is great, potato flour, um, gluten-free flour, anything to create a little bit of a crust, adds a lot of flavor, it gives it really good texture, it cooks it you know, more evenly from the outside in. And then it also reduces the, uh, the sticking and the leaching of the moisture. The fish really flakes nicely. It doesn't fall apart. It has a firmer texture, but it is delicate. And you can see that the flakes, just they're just big, luscious, silky flakes. You can use it in a lot of different applications. You can put it in soups and stews and chowders, uh, curries. Um, and it makes a great fish and chips, makes a great fried fish sandwich, even just pan fried with a little bit of caper and butter and a little lemon juice. And it's just really, really good. Also, it makes great fish cakes. So if you want to make, you know, a gluten-free fish cake, boil some potatoes, mash up some potatoes, add some cubed Pacific cod to the, pan, to the pot while the potatoes are just about finished cooking. Then you drain it and you mash it all together and you get this exquisite potato fish cake. It's so delicious. Because Pacific Cod from Alaska is well managed and well maintained, we can see Pacific Cod in our boxes with some, some steady regularity all year long. And the fishing season is year round. So as long as we take care of our fisheries, Cod will be taking care of us. Until next time, um, stay wild and keep cooking. Mm.